Welcome to Let's Play Solitaire, where we tackle the random game. If you're looking for more Solitaire and you like it, there are links in the description below to playlists such as Solitaire Tips and Let's Play Solitaire. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get another win here. First things first, I like to go for the columns. Sometimes I take them back if it's something to do with a draw pile, but most of the time I stay with it. Most of the time, we'll see here. So we got two open columns, so looking good so far. We need to see what's in the draw pile. First move, I like to save as insurance for later. We gotta be able to manage. There's an ace that we wanna get to as well, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky here. We'll see what the next move is that we can make, actually make here. Uh, nothing there, oh boy. Yeah, so we're gonna have to go to the very front of the draw pile. Okay, was there a seven? I also look for critical cards. We can't play that seven. We could play this seven. So if we played one card, we could play the se uh, black seven at six. Oh boy. So this we gotta play. Gotta play the first card. I think that's the only card we can play. So if we play just one card, we can get. I think the seven right here is gonna be the next card we play. And then we'll work our way to the back of the draw. We could play the six as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to play that seven first. Because there's this six that might be a better play. Red six right there. I think that six is a better play. Because it's earlier in the draw pile. So we can move some more cards around. So we're not going to play the six. We're going to play the six of hearts. We can play this nine and eight here. And I think we can play this four and three as well. Good, we get a king, we put him in the open column. We can move this two here. Oh, really good. <clears throat> really good there. We got multiple open columns if we need it. I'm gonna save this three for now. Again, we're not gonna play the six, we're playing the other six. I don't like bringing down two kings, but I have an option to move this out of the way. So I'm gonna bring down two kings. There's a seven we can play, I think. Okay, so the two of diamonds is our new insurance card, so that's good. We're going to have to get to this ace of clubs, so I feel like we're going to have to play all three there. So we're going to start out with the ace of diamonds here. We'll play the six and the five there. Nice. Two of clubs, we'll be able to play. We're going to play all of it in sequence, I think. Normally I, I would put them down, but I'm just going to do it all in one big sequence here. I'm going to see if I can get to that uh, red queen at some point here. Red queen right here. I'm going to play everything I can, and then we'll get back to this uh, sequence here. Two of diamonds is the insurance card, I believe. Yeah. So, again, a key part of being able to solve these is being able to manage that draw pile and move cards around in ways where you can create more moves. If you can do that, your odds of winning go up. Okay, so nothing we can move there. I th don't like... I guess the only problem is I'm going to be moving all of these cards here, which may not be the best. But we have a five. We can move under the six. We have an ace of clubs and a two of clubs we can move. And we'll have another open column. So we're going to go with that for now. There's no moves behind there. We can't do anything with a seven of diamonds, uh, which we would. That would be a way of managing the draw pile. So we're playing the six here, playing the five again. I don't like playing all of these at once, but uh, I think that may be our only option here. We'll see here. So now we can move some cards. There's a five of diamonds in here somewhere. And I think, oh boy, that's it right there. Okay, that's good. We can, the jack is our new insurance card. We're going to see if we can find any other moves. And I think that jack is going to have to be played here. So we can play the five and six of diamonds, I believe. So jack here. We've got a number of choices here. Uh, one option is we could not... Yeah, I'm going to manage this draw pile better here. I'm not going to play this right away. I am. I can't play the six of diamonds yet, but I'm going to want to get to it. I'm going to play the four of spades next. So, well, four hearts and then the four of spades. So four of hearts there. Now we're going to come back. We're going to play the four of spades, I believe. We should be able to play this black ten next, or we could play this black ten. I'm not sure which is a better choice. Oh, we can still play this black ten, so that's good. That was the better choice. All right, so if we can manage this draw pile just right, we might be able to pull this off. Maybe. We'll see here. So we got the 10. And, uh, yeah. So now, one little problem. I don't think we're going to be able to get to that other diamond. 
I want to get to the sev six of diamonds here. I, but if I do that, I, I block. So, like, I can't play this. So, I got to go back. I got to play the five of diamonds, which is not good. And then I could play all of them. But then that would leave us with this nine right here. Maybe we can find a move out of there. And maybe not. You know what? We have the six of spades that could be moved too. So that could be... Huh, that's interesting. Interesting, interesting. Well, we have some more. We still have hearts. We have hearts there. We have clubs here. We just need to find two, like a black card and a red card to work in order. We can probably still solve this. Let's see, eight can go here. Now we can either pull this queen or we can pull this queen. Oh, we can pull both of them. So now we can put the six of spades and six of diamonds there and we're just gonna play the rest of these cards up to the draw pile and we should be able to solve this. So 10 of diamonds there, Jack goes there and we get it done. Pretty cool, huh? Bit tricky but uh we're on top of our game and we got it done and we got up to 41 percent whoo finally 41 percent that that is uh, pretty tough for for that large sample size if you did 100 games or 200 games it's probably easier as long as you're playing at a high level of course but uh let's not talk about so much about that let's talk about uh there's a solitaire tip playlist uh the link in the description below uh the best two in my opinion i got linked to those videos are solitaire complete tip guide how to win a solitaire I would recommend checking those out if you're looking for tips on how to get better. I got a lot of explanations and stuff. And of course, if you just want to watch live play, uh, that's good too. Uh, today's game is going to be in the Let's Play Solitaire playlist uh, with other games, plenty of other games to check out. Usually the longer ones are better, but not always. As of late, I've been getting a little bit better at catching some problems. So trying to keep times down, though sometimes uh, you can't always do that. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching and uh, good luck.